Yeah, everything is moving along, and you know we and the time is time is ticking. I had well yesterday it was nine uh, hundred days, and today it is ninety nine days left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am Ahmed Üstüner, the blind captain. On the water you have this open area around you. So it gives me a different um, different type of you know movement. And you can move like three dimensionally in the water, right? So you can go sideways, you can go you know, back and forth and up and down and you are not limited, you are not restricted uh, with a solid ground. Because on the street you have a lot of different background noises and you have a lot of uh, cars, so it is like, it's like a chaos of noises on the, on the street. Getting better. Uh huh. That's fun. <laughs> but it's also kind of cool. I like people that do stuff. When I was growing up, I had a very interesting experience with school. You know, I didn't experience much um, discrimination until high school, I would say. And I was thinking, oh, you know, middle school was very easy going and people, you know, loved me there. People enjoyed having me as a student and teachers were supportive. And when I was enrolling, you know, nobody told me that, oh, you are blind, so you are not supposed to be here. But when I went to high school, high school didn't want to uh, enroll me because uh, the excuse of the principal was, oh, we have language classes, and in language classes, we show videos. And, you know, as a blind person, uh, you won't be able to see the video, so you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, be successful in classes. Until that moment, I didn't feel that as a blind person, I had to fight for my education. <coughs> She takes a bite and chews. Opens the door a crack. Doreen wears a business suit and holds a white stick. Oh, hello. Hello. Did you believe in world peace? Not interested. Anna shuts the door, but Doreen locks it with her stick. Fingers. I'm blind. <coughs> Welcome to the club. You are. So am I. I'm Ethan Fung, and I'm, I just turned 16. Right. As long as we're given our opportunities, we can show others that we have just as much to offer as everybody else. It means a lot that he's taking on this challenge because it's something that I don't think many people would even imagine. But the fact that he's actually going out and doing it is, um, it's really impressive, and I don't even know how he does it. <laughs> Are there a lot of rabbits there? Yeah, there's a strong current and, well, the biggest issue is traffic. There's, you know, the ship, ship traffic. Yeah. yeah. Going around all the ships. Yeah, that's the problem, how to detect obstacles. So, there are, there are some discussions, ideas going on now. Different, you know, radar systems or on our systems. So I applied with this, you know, idea in my mind, and then I thought, wait a minute, you know, is it is it possible to do this? 
and I had you know a couple of questions in my mind. Right now we have all this technology available in the market like uh, you know GPS navigation and all we need to do is write a code and make them usable to a blind person.